Hey, what's up folks? This is Jesse with Keeping It Real Finance, the channel that always has your back and tells it like it is. Today's video is going to be all about the graph and the GRT token. So I'm taking this one by request from my pal across the pond, Baz Logic. Shout out to you. I'll be doing this one as well as your other requests probably next week. Uh, but wanted to get the graph in this week uh, for everybody out there, okay? Now the graph essentially, uh, what, what the project's all about, it's a little bit technical, but it centers around querying data. And we're gonna be talking about that in today's video. So as always, I'll be giving you a thorough review all about the project, uh, what exactly it is, how it's used, uh, who the team is behind it, um, as well as we'll be getting into some of the tokenomics here. Um, and what we think the price prediction could be for year-end 2021. So stick around for that. I'll have a lot of good information and hopefully you'll learn a little bit. Uh, pretty interesting what the graph is doing here, all right? So that being said, if you enjoy today's video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you click the bell, you'll be made aware whenever I post time-sensitive content just like this. And now let's get it going. So as I mentioned in the intro, the graph is an indexing protocol for querying data. It's basically used for decentralized applications as well as for the broader Web 3.0, the decentralized internet, all right? Now, what's the sales pitch? So in the past, teams had to develop and operate proprietary indexing servers, which required significant engineering and hardware resources that were not decentralized. So that's where this comes in. Uh, well now, so anyone can build subgraphs that applications can query using GraphQL to retrieve blockchain data, okay? Now the graph is uh, fast, reliable, and secure. That's a huge sales pitch. Uh, it ensures that data remains open and decentralized apps continue to run no matter what. Now the graph supports indexing data from Ethereum, IPFS, this is the interplanetary file system, and POA network, an Ethereum-based network that offers an open source framework for smart contracts, okay? Now to date, over uh, 3,000 subgraphs have been deployed by thousands of developers for decentralized apps, including we have Uniswap uses it, Synthetix, Aragon, we have Aave, Balancer, and many more that are using the graph today, okay? Now how it works, first we have indexers that are node operators that stake GRT, this is the native graph token, in order to provide indexing and query services. They earn rewards from a rebate pool proportional to their contribution. Second, we have curators who are subgraph developers, data consumers, or community members that signal to indexers which subgraphs should be indexed. And lastly, we have delegators who are individuals who delegate stake to indexers to contribute to securing the network. By delegating, delegators earn a portion of the quarry fees and rewards earned by the indexer. You and me would most likely be delegators because we would be staking GRT, okay? Now, just uh, some of the groups backing the graph include the following. Uh, obviously, Coinbase Ventures and Compound probably stand out the most in the list, list to me. Uh, now, in terms of roadmaps and growth, a little bit of news. Uh, this article published just yesterday from Cointelegraph mentions that the Graph Foundation is tapped streaming fast with a $60 million grant to further develop Web 3.0 by providing the Graph ecosystem with its infrastructure platform, core IP, and API products. Now what's crazy also is that in this article it mentions two additional items that sort of piqued my interest. One was that GRT is 75% below the all-time high, which is important later when we look at the chart. And two, that the graph passed 20 billion quarries in April of this year, up from just 1 billion a year ago. That is some substantial, massive growth. That's why that's important. Now, for a little bit of background, so the graph is an open source project, uh, meaning it is ran by a decentralized team based all over the world. 
the initial founders of the project were we have Yaniv Tal, a project lead, Brandon Ramirez, research lead, and Janice Pullman, tech lead. Okay? Now, in order to stake GRT, you would need to go to network.thegraph.com. Once you're there, you can connect your wallet and choose your indexer to delegate to. All I would say here is you can choose anybody, uh, simply look at them, who you think is giving the best deal, who may have the most and highest delegation, that's probably the most reliable, and then go with that one, okay? So, let's talk token. So, as I mentioned earlier, GRT is the native token of the graph. As of this recording, 618 of 2021, GRT was ranked number 84 in the top 100 with a market cap of just over $768 million. Uh, with 1.25 GRT out of 10 billion in circulation, annual rewards are uh, added at 3% annually uh, subject to any future governance changes. So we are adding more tokens slowly over time, but not many. Now, GRT was trading at 0 uh, 6177 almost 62 cents. Now, if we insert the chart here, you can see that GRT started the year at 0 0.3621, meaning that as of today, it has increased by almost 71%. And that's down from the peak that it had earlier in the year. All right. Now, if we insert the trading view chart now, if GRT stayed between the same trend line, we're looking at a year end between somewhere around $1.20 and $4.01, meaning it could go anywhere between a two to six and a half X. What, what we also had here as evidenced in the market cipher is that you can see money outflow visible in the green wave turning into a red wave on roughly April 9th. And that may have finally bottomed out, it appears, hopefully, on June 11th. Now, my price prediction for this year is that I think the graph can place anywhere between a 4 to 6x. I see that as doable, and that would place it year-end at somewhere between $2.40 and $3.60. Now, where you can find the graph. So the graph is available all over the place. It's on Binance, it's on Qcoin, it's on Coinbase, it's on Voyager. And I do have referral links in the video description um, for free money bonuses, so by all means, check those out, get some free money, and help support the channel along the way whenever you do. Thank you. Uh, now for some final thoughts here, so I'm not sure the average person uh, can clearly follow what the graph does that's querying data. This is kind of like a technical IT function, and the average person may have a little trouble with that. Uh, staking, it may also be a little bit technical. Um, now, that does not mean, though, that there isn't opportunity here, because honestly, I think there's a ton of opportunity here. Um, now, if you look at the chart, so GRT is at the bottom of the trend, meaning that if you want to give this one a spin, it's not a bad time, folks. It's at the very bottom of the trend line. So, that being said, I think the graph is clearly making some serious headway in its quest for a decentralized internet, evidenced by those numbers that I read earlier from Cointelegraph. Um, so, years from now, I think the graph will probably have made quite a few people a lot of money. And frankly, uh, the potential for the rest of this year isn't half bad either. A 4 to 6x would be a pretty solid return, right? So the bottom line here, I think, with the graph is that give it a shot, even if it may be beyond your comfort level, uh, because this is tech that's essentially going to change the world. That's what it is, and it's proven that year over year, it has had massive, substantial growth for data querying, okay? So I, I think the graph is here to stay. I think the graph has a lot to offer. Uh, if you're willing to go beyond your comfort zone and attempt to figure out staking your GRT, you could earn even more on it. So lots of potential here with the graph, and I think long-term this project is absolutely a winner, and you know it's also open source. So a lot of the uh, open source projects in crypto are sort of inspired by, you know, Bitcoin, etc. Uh, that they, they kind of want to be anonymous. They want an entire group of people all around the world. They want it decentralized. There's really not one entity in control. 
That's a really good thing, and that's what the graph is doing. Okay, so that's it for our video today on the graph. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget that I'm also on Twitter at KIR Finance, where I'm tweeting and retweeting on a regular basis. Check me out there. And for a friendly reminder, this is Jesse with Keeping It Real Finance, the channel that always has your back, tells it like it is, and I will see you on the next one. Later.